Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life of the strength. Holy Spirit, we welcome welcome you to this podcast. We ask you to pour into us wisdom and knowledge. We ask you to help us understand what you're trying to say to us. Help us to apply it to our lives. Help us not to be just hearers and doers of your, help us be not just hearers, but doers of your word as well. Father God, we thank you for everything. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. We ask you to help us to eat the word today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Verse of the day is John 4, 34, my food says Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Subject, deep satisfaction. Christian truths, I'm going to pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I want to satisfy my God. My food is the will of the Father. I am focused on God. I am carrying my cross. Satisfaction, what gives you that? Is it finishing a game, finishing your daily workout, knowing you provided for your kids? What gives you satisfaction? Is it being helpful to others? Is it completing your daily workload? Or is it going on vacation? Or even maybe eating at your favorite restaurant? What is it? Think about how much joy that gives you to do that. Think about how complete and happiness you feel when you get that amazing satisfaction. Jesus said to his disciples, my food said, my food said Jesus is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. He was telling them, I have great joy in doing the will of God. This is how we should do, be. We should have great joy in figuring out his will for our lives. We should have satisfaction knowing that we please God. But what happens is we allow the things of this world to give us more satisfaction. When we read our word and we make the word a priority, it becomes the fire we need to burn off the fleshly things that attaches itself to us. We won't have the desire of the world. We will have a desire for the things above, from above. What we should be walking in and having satisfaction from is righteous living. But as long as we are giving ourselves to this world, there's no way we will have that desire. It won't be there at all. John 6 and 38 says, For I have come from heaven to not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Here it is again. Jesus said, I'm here to do the will of God who sent me, not his own will. When we grow in our walk with Christ, we must be more willing to let go of our will and say, I'm not doing things my way. I'm not counting on this to give me satisfaction. I'm not counting on that to give me satisfaction. I'm not counting on him or her to do it. I want the will I want the will of God to give me that. Drinking a bottle of tequila used to make my weekend and playing video games. But what gives me satisfaction now is drinking of the living water, not drink, not pouring a shot, but pouring hours into studying the word of God. When we give ourselves over to God, this world shouldn't make us crave anything but heaven. Job 23 and 12, I have not departed from the commandment of this of his lips. I have treasured the words of this of his mouth more than my portion of food. Job says this too. He said, the commandment of God has not departed from his lips and that he treasured them more than food. That says a lot about someone. If they pick growing and obeying God over a meal, that's what Job is saying. He says, I have not allowed the commandments of God to leave me because it's what gives me satisfaction. It will give me more. It will give me footing in my daily life. It's what gives me self-control when I'm out of control. Life can give us all kinds of satisfactions, all kinds of short-lived peace and short-lived happiness. But the love of God and his will will always give us more than we could ever imagine. It can give us true peace. It can give us true satisfaction. It can give us more than we could ever imagine because God wants to give us something that lasts more than just a moment. He wants to give us something that gives us deep satisfaction that we never had before. Today, don't allow another day to escape that you are not seeking true satisfaction. We were created for him, not this world. Not people and things, but but him. When we give into his will and accept him and desire him more than anything, we can have that. But we must give more of ourselves into him. Do that today. Don't wait another minute or another day without asking him, how can you be more for him? And he will show you and give you deep satisfaction. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything we have. We thank you for the love you have given us. We thank you for sending your son to save our souls. Lord, I want to have satisfaction from your will and pleasing you. 
uh, we, we want to love you so deeply, Father God. Change our mind. Change our heart right now. Lord, we surrender to you every part of our lives. We ask you to remove the things we put before you. We ask you to remove the people that's in our life that we place before you. Lord, help us to seek satisfaction for, for only you. Lord, we desire to grow in you. Help us to do that. Help us to stand strong in you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. For ref- reference, sorry, John 5 and 30. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge. My judgment is true because I seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Matthew 26 and 39. And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26 and 39. Psalms 40 and 8. I delight to do your will. Oh, my God, your law is within my heart. Further reading. 1 Kings 15, 25 through 17 and 24, Acts 10, 24 through 48, Psalms 134, 1 through 3, and Proverbs 17 and 14. This ends deep satisfaction. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to click the subscribe, like, or heart button, wherever platform you're on. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Thank you for listening.